Hey there, good morning. According to the letter, any ticketed event at a venue requires a so-called amusement license from the city of Buffalo. Imagine opening your mail and getting a letter that says your small business has to pay the city anywhere for $55 per event, upwards to $115, depending on how much the ticket price was. And you're a small independent concert venue that holds 200 events per year. That means you'd pay the city anywhere from $10,000 upwards to almost $15,000 a year that we would have to pay an additional fees to just be open. Or if you own multiple venues, 25 grand for us over the course of a year, which that's not a licensing fee, it's a tax. It's crazy. Chris Ring from the rec room in the downtown and Josh Mullen from Jackrabbit on Elmwood Ave were shocked by the letter. The letter said in part, licensing is required for each event which falls into the category of an amusement. Amusements include, but are not limited to, lectures, exhibitions, theater, sports, comedy, music, and other shows that charge a fee for entry. The fee has several tiers and are based on ticket prices, ranging from a $55 fee to $350 per event for the venue. The city issued an excerpt from the city code that gives the Department of Permit and Inspection Services the authority to do this. Any inclination that this was coming down the pike or was this a total surprise when you opened the mail one day? This was a total out of, out of you know, thin air kind of thing and uh, really took us by surprise. And according to one council member, they weren't aware of the code either. I still don't have a complete good answer for what exactly is going on, um, but I do know that myself and most of my, well, probably all of my colleagues, at least the ones that I spoke to, were very concerned concerned about this, whether this has been on the books or not in the past, if we've not been collecting it, shame on us. Uh, and we could have uh, fixed it in the past if it was too high. But as we were efforting this story late Wednesday afternoon and after we inquired with city officials about the fees, the city apparently backtracked a bit. Saying that it was an, a clerical error and that we're going to have to pay one fee to continue doing what we're doing, which is still, you know, what it is, I guess. Moving forward, come 2025, applications that are in the, the music industry will have to apply for this permit at X amount of dollars a year. Now the city sent a statement which you can read on our website, but they said the letters were sent out as reminders to those venues not getting their licenses and said that they need to apply for one. On your side, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.